What is up everybody? You are watching That One Guy Jr. and I am That One Guy Jr. So today guys, I know I've been gone for quite a little bit and I am so sorry. If you joined my live stream uh, about I think it was last Friday, you would have you would have known why I have been gone for so long, but I wanted to explain for those that weren't in the live stream, there wasn't very many people that joined live stream anyways. I'm so, it, it was it was exciting, but there was there was only about 10 people that joined it for like 2 seconds. So, um, but anyway, so I wanted to explain to you guys in this short little video, um, where I've been and why. So it's a really big step in my life that I've been, that I've decided to do. Um, Kira helped a whole lot with this decision and it was to join in the military. So that's something that I have decided to do and I am doing at this moment. I'm not in the military completely yet, but I've decided to, I was going to join the Air Force. Let me tell you the story. I was going to join the Air Force, but I went in to the recruiting office and I was signing the papers and everything. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. So they were like, um, do you have any tattoos? And I was like, yeah, I've got a tattoo. I've got a tattoo on my chest. And it's like a Gemini sign. I think I've shown you guys before. Um, and so she's like, oh, okay, well, she asked me all the questions and everything. Excuse me, I burped. But uh, but she, uh, as I was signing, going to sign papers to take the practice ASFAB, uh, she noticed that I have this on the side of my finger, which is like a Saturn. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I think I made that worse. But, whoops. Oh, don't hate me. But, anyways, so... She was like, oh, you can't join the Air Force. I was like, what the fuck? What? And the sad thing was that, w that Kira was coming with me because she wanted to join the Air Force, too. And it's something that we've both been looking forward to. And she basically told us both that we can't do, we can't do it because she has the same tattoo or pin, pin, uh, stick and poke thing on her. And we were like, she's like, but the, the, the Navy right next door does it. And they, they, they don't care about tattoos on your hand. And I was like, what the fuck? And, um... So the Navy guy came in and he asked me some questions. He's like, let me see the tattoo. And I was like, okay. And I showed him. And he's like, get in my, get in my office. Like, he was like, that's nothing. That's nothing. You can jo you can join the Navy. Don't worry about it. You just have to pass the, the ASFAB and you'll, you'll be good. So I went in there. He was talking, chatting me up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, asked me if I wanted to take the pra practice ASFAB. I took it. I scored a 78, which was like that was high enough to be able to qualify for literally every job in the Navy. So he was like, "Oh my God, you want to do nuclear propulsion?" I was like, "Oh, sounds cool. A hundred mil, a hundred thousand dollars minimum a year. That sounds badass." So I was gonna do that, but I went to take the actual ASVAB and scored a seventy-three. So it's like four or five points shy of doing the uh, being able to do the nuclear propulsion. But I scored still high enough to qualify for every other job except for that one job. So I can pick any job out of the Navy that I want to do. It's already in the process. I've just got to get some documents approved. And then once that happens, I go and take a test and a drug test. I take a, a physical test. And about six or seven months from now or from then, whenever that happens, I am going off to the Navy. I have to pick whichever jobs that I want. I have to make like a 15 priority list of jobs that I would want in the Navy since I can pick. And they'll choose from that basically. So it's a big thing that I know that some of you guys are going to be like, oh, I'm so excited, and some of you are going to be like, eh, don't do it. I know, I, I'm going to miss you guys. I know it's something that Kira and I both want to do um, whenever she gets old enough to be able to do it, and she finishes school. So, um, but it's something that we're both wanting to do, and it's a big step in our life that is going to be a great thing for our career. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you think about this. If you think it's something good, if you think it's something that you th that you're like, no, don't want to do it, or what you think about specifically for what's going on right now in the world. Ooh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Trump and uh, Syria and all that. Mm, read it up, read it up. It's pretty intense. But let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. And I hope you did enjoy this little vlog type thing. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Be sure to hit the like button, come subscribe, and share this video. Let's try to 15 likes or more for this video, and I will talk to you on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Bye!